some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Brunswick, Maine, where we find Josh, the biggest jackass frauditor you will ever meet, besides Glen Serio, maybe. Oh, but who cares about Glen Serio anyway? He's really small potatoes these days. But anyway, Josh is not there to be Mr. Nice Guy, he's there to be Mr. Asshole. You know, to berate, belittle, and bully his way into people's offices and just be an all-around jackass. But it's not the case time he gets two doors slammed in his face, so you know there's gonna be complaints and foils filed and everything like that. Oh, woe is him. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, guys? We're at the Brunswick Town Hall in Brunswick, Maine, doing a First Amendment audit. And with the Wandering Hippie, let's check it out. Oh, they will have no problem with this filming because they're under video surveillance 24 hours. Uh, don't get me started on that tired ass stupid argument. Ray Ray's got a game. Hey, get your finger out of there. What you doing? What you doing? Uh, where I work here. Oh, cool. Oh, IT? Do you help somebody? Oh, the IT office is always pretty cool. Yeah, we like IT. This is a private office, so I have to ask you to stand outside there. Oh, no, that's not a private office. It's a private office. I don't see any signs saying it's a private office. How you doing? Hey, how are you? How, how you doing? doing? Hi. Hope you're having a good day. Good. You have to forgive Josh. He's a bit slow. Uh, his mother dropped him on his head one too many times, so therefore he doesn't have any common sense or common decency. So you may have to close the door in his face and lock it because that's the only way he might learn. This is a private office. Can you step outside the door? It's not please? a private office. It There's is. no signs. There's yeah. no signage. This is my private office, please. No, it's it's our private office. It. If you don't leave, I'm gonna call the police. I mean, you can. There's no, there's no sign saying you it's a are, private um, office. I can't be on camera. I'm sorry. Is this something? Is this something that we need to? How long has this been a private office? I guess so. I guess so. Is this something? Go ahead. Should be concerned with? You can leave if you want. No, no, I'm just gonna go over there. Sorry, I'm gonna. No, you can do I'm your thing, there. man. Yeah, no worries. Funny saying, <laughs> you know, you can't come in the office. Like, we haven't even stepped in the office yeah, excuse yet. Me, excuse me for a second. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a public office. Wow. Oh, look at that, huh? What a scumbag. Now he's going to be on film. Oh, did the moronic frauditor get all butt hurt? Here, let Dr. Zoidberg give you a tube of his specialty butt hurt cream and rub it all over your ass he'll make it all better <laughs> what the hell <laughs> oh man huh he, the first amendment guys are here yeah zero first amendment in the uh Town Hall of Brunswick. <laughs> That's alright, we'll get back in there. Right. It was, yeah, because I was headed over to PD and I was like, oh shoot, I didn't do that. Hello. How's it going? How, are How are we doing? Good. You guys having a good day? Yeah, yeah. not too bad. Good. Yeah. I was just wondering, everyone in the town hall seems really nice, except the IT guy. So I was wondering, is he normally really mean? Does he normally slam doors on people's feet? Is that is that or is that just a today thing? Do you know? I don't know. He's relatively new. Oh, and was I would. Door, was the door open when you? Went yeah, down? wide open. No signs. I'm just like your office. And then he, you know, he said that we weren't allowed to film him. And then the other guy in there said we weren't allowed to film him either. If I saw foul mouth, foul mannered monstrosity like you trying to get into my office, I'd kick you out the door too. And um, see, we can go in the office. 
we were just being really nice, just filming kind of like this. And then the other guy came up and slammed the door, wound up, hit me in the foot. So I was just wondering if that's a new behavior, but you said he's new. So hard to tell if he's been acting like that. Well, it's hard to tell. I mean, most people don't get this experience. So. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't work for a municipality before. He worked for a private company, which doesn't have this pleasure. Yeah, so I'm sure that working for a municipality, you know, it doesn't really matter where he's worked before. He works for the public. You know, not working for the public before, I don't really is a, I think an excuse for him to be behaving like that. Well, we can talk to him. Is there anything we can help you with? Uh, yeah, I like, to, I like an apology for the behavior. I mean, I always offer that, an apology, um, you know, rather than me doing a records Pardon. request. Pardon me, good people. But let me explain what Josh is all about. He is a man on a mission, not just uh, trying to uh, go to every Burger King in the world, but that's besides the point. But I wonder, how, I really wonder how much he pays in hamburgers per month. Uh, but let's get back on the topic. But his mission is to make himself feel superior to everybody else by getting people to apologize to him after he treats them like a pile of crap. It's really just a power trip for this moronic frauditor because he's got nothing else going in his sad, pathetic little life. I'm me. And you are? I'm me. Okay, and what, what are you looking for? An apology. An apology. Uh, if not, then I'll just do a records request for uh, his name, salary, employment contract, then I'll lodge an official complaint for his behavior, and then... I'll disseminate it to my audience. Oh my God, who the hell cares? But I'm happy to just take an apology for the behavior. I mean, which I don't think is, you know, asking a lot, seeing that this building serves, especially in human resources, where, you know, you kind of specialize in training and coaching employees. You think that's something we can make happen? Who do you want an apology we would, from? We would said we would talk to him. He's brand new here. He's not familiar with the freedom of access. And any of the things you're talking about is an opportunity for us to teach him and ask him. Well, I mean, everyone learns about the First Amendment to the United States law. Constitution. I mean, depending on your age, it's either civics or you learn it in third grade. I mean. And all this coming from a man who probably flunked out of elementary school. And even if you managed to make it into high school, you probably weren't even paying one bit of attention in civics class. And literally, when he walks into this building, you guys have a big sign that says under 24-hour video surveillance. So I think he's probably quite aware that we're allowed to. I just think he got in his feels and decided that his wants were more important than our rights. So, I mean, he doesn't have to apologize, but... I always like to offer the opportunity before I leave because if he doesn't want to, then we do records requests and complaints. Okay. He also called the police on us, which I think is an awful waste of tax resources for people not breaking the law. But Well, thank you for letting us know. It's a personal ma matter, and like what we said, we will talk to our employees. So does that mean that you're going to ask him if you'd like to apologize to us, or do you want to dig your heels in on that? I'm not going to deal with a personnel matter on a public camera. I mean, it is not public. It is public. He works for the public. Personnel matters are not public. Well, at this point, I mean, it's not an unwarranted invasion of privacy. Oh, typical bullying tactics. If you don't do what I say, I'll unleash every public record on this place. Wah, wah, wah. Grow up, dude. Which would be the only thing that would exclude it from public. So, and I think that you guys are going to probably have a headache over the next couple of days about this. That's so, a shame. I I agree with you. It's absolutely a shame. Someone behaving like that, showing such disdain for the public, and then you come literally to human resources, and that office is the office that oversees coaching, training, and development for those employees, and it seems like you could... speak and coach and develop my employee. I mean, that's fine. You're making, a, you're making the choice for him. I offered him an opportunity to keep his job if he apologized. If you want to deal with it privately, you won't have that opportunity, and he will lose his job. No question about it. 
I want to bet on that. I haven't lost that bet yet. <laughs> but if you want to make that decision for him, when we stop by the office on the way out, we'll let him know to enjoy his, his last day. What do you say? And who are you to determine who keeps their job and who doesn't keep their job? Who died and made you boss? You ignorant damn punk. I know it's hard for you to find a job because you're an ignorant pile of crap. But that doesn't mean you have the power to just take away somebody's job at the snap of your finger. You asinine beta male cuck. I think you right there what we said. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that cabinet going to move? Pardon? Oh, is it going to move if you don't stand there and hold it up? Or? Uh, no, we were actually having a meeting and you were oh. interrupted. Perfect. No, you weren't interrupted. This is, this is my office. This is the people's office, so. Outside in the hall is. Yeah, where, and where are we? You were beyond the threshold. No, we weren't. Okay. Come on, I got a backup camera. Okay. Listen, you lie like a rug. Like that, you're not in the business of lying. You're in the business of serving the public. Yeah, we do serve the public. Not well. Okay. Not well. What's your name? My name's Ryan. Ryan. What do you do here? I work for the town. What do you do here? I work for the town. What do you do for the town, Ryan? I'm the assistant town manager. You're the assistant town manager? Oh, man. What are they, just handing that job out to anybody, Ryan? Oh, are you upset that you don't have a nice title like him and a good job? Well, maybe if you drop the pissy attitude and uh, stop acting so superior to everybody, go out, get an education, and act like a normal human being, maybe you'll find a good job, you moron. What, are you, what was it, like a, said, what was it, a raffle? Meetings, What's your name? Office. What's your name? My name is Jody. Um, Jody? Resources. Oh, cool. And, and what's we your name? Meeting, what's your I'm name? I'm going to ask you to leave and have My a great day. Brandon. Brandon? And that's why the attitude is here. Well, now, there you have it. This beta boy cuck with a sorry ass attitude couldn't get anything done. But hell, if you walk around with an attitude like that, you're going to get door slammed in your face all the time. Get used to it, buddy.